Hello, good morning friends. I am Dr. Desi Gapi. I am an intellectual on chromatography. Chromatography means, chroma means color and graphy means separation. Therefore, uh, the separation of the color components by chromatographic methods is carried out by using some stationary phases and some mobile phases. The stationary phase may, be, may consist of a solid stationary phase or liquid uh, stationary phases are used. And the mobile phase can be used as a any organic sample. Any organic sample or buffers are also used. What type of chromatography we are going to discuss or whatever chromatography we are performing, according to that, the classification is here. Today I am focusing on the thin layer chromatography and the preterm thin layer chromatography. It is a new technique where the stationary phase used is silica gel. Silica gel and the mobile phase used is. A organic solvent like hexane, methyl acetate, methanol, these are the organic solvents or the combination of solvents can be used. When the stationary phase uh, which consists of a silica, silica is polar which consists of a SiO bonding is there and because of that silicon having delta positive charge, oxygen having delta negative charge and therefore it is a polar stationary phase. And whatever the mobile phase we are using, it is the organic solvent which may be used from decreasing polarity from, uh, uh, you know, from low polarity to higher polarity. Hexane is low polar, then it goes from hexane to ethyl acetate. Or the combination of the solvents can be used. Suppose 10% of ethyl acetate in hexane is the uh, solvent system, that time uh, the increase in the polarity can take place. And therefore, the stationary phase is solid. Mobile phase is liquid, such type of chromatography is called as adsorption chromatography. How separation takes place? The separation takes place according to adsorption desorption behavior. The components get absorbed on the surface of the stationary phase, and when the mobile phase passes, suppose we consider this is the stationary phase, and if we loaded the sample here, and if we keep it with the TLC to the chamber, that time solvent starts moving in upward direction according to the capillary action principle. And therefore, the separation of the components takes place according to adsorption desorption behavior. This is the actual principle of the thin uh, layer chromatography, and it is useful for it is useful for the separation of the organic components. Today, I am going to discuss a new technique where the separation of the components takes place, and uh, we have the components in a pure state in our hand. Therefore, thin layer chromatography is only giving the it is analytical technique where only the purity of the sample can be determined. If you have loaded sample here, and if the uh, uh, mobile pen is used, then it was detected by some uh, reagents or the UV uh, chamber or iodine. That time, these two spots, if we obtain, they have a different RF value. RF can be calculated from the distance traveled by swelling divided by distance traveled by the solvent. Is the solvent. The retardation factor can be determined, and this retardation factor, if there are some differences there, that time the purity can be identified. The two components are there, two components means they are, it is a mixture, it is not a pure compound, it is not a pure sample, and therefore the purification can be carried out by using the a big TLC plate. Such a TLC plate is used, suppose 10 cm by 10 cm plate is there. Uh, when the uh, silica gel slurry is prepared in the water, it is sprayed on the TLC plate and uh, it is dried for 12 or 12 to 20 hours. Then, after drying, the sample is loaded at the base of the TLC plate. Suppose this is the big TLC plate, we can load a sample here. Here, about 100 mg sample is loaded here, and this TLC plate is kept into the chamber. The solvent is moving in the upward direction, and after that, we are obtaining the spots here one spot here and one spot here. We can cut this portion into one class, we cut this portion into other class. We have collected the two components in minimum of about um, amount about 50 to 60 milligram of the components can be separated very easily in a pure state. How they are separated? When the silica gel along with the substance is taken into follicle in your case tube, you dissolve it in a solvent, then you filter it, silica gel can be uh, separated, and your solute for uh, your uh, mixture, mother liquor consists of a there are some components. After you want some solvent, you can get a pure compounds in your hand. Therefore, such type of chromatography is called a separate similar chromatography, which is giving a near about 90 to 100 percent pure components 
if there is a sufficient difference in the array values, that time they can be easily identified or separated from the mixture. And therefore, uh, this is a new technique methodology used for the separation of the components. When the column chromatography of such a compound is carried out, that time column chromatography is also the method of the separation of the components in a pure state. It is also a preparatory technique where the sample is loaded on the column, a period column is used, the quantity will be decided according to the number of components or how much components are there, and the particle phase are there. This is the stationary phase silica and sample is loaded here then solvent is added and separation of the components takes place here also the adsorption and desorption behavior is there the components are collected in a pure state in a conical flask the volume of the sample uh, solution will be kept constant and by checking the thin layer chromatography TLC we can identify the components and they can be mixed together we can separate the components from the provided with the column chromatography then another technique is there where the both techniques, the analytical technique and the preparative can be used is the high performance of chromatography where instrumental methods are used, where the detectors are there, either the refractive detector is there or sometimes PDA is used which can be used the chromatogram, that chromatogram is useful for the identification of the substances. If a chromatogram obtained in the HPLC is like this, it is the retention time retention time, that is the time in minutes is taken on the x-axis and peak height or the detector response is taken on the y-axis detector response it will give a peak 1 and peak 2 at a different retention time it indicates that your component having your sample having two components and therefore these are some chromatographic methods are there which are very useful for the identification of the components the same way the HPLC can be used as a preparative HPLC where the instrument is very different the near about 5 to 10 gram of the sample can be injected at a time and we can identify, we can get the pure components. If the retention time of the substance is suppose 10 minutes, suppose it is 9 to 10, that time the fraction of the electric coming from the 9 to 10 minutes will be collected separately and if the fraction from suppose 15 to 16 minutes, it will be collected separately. The two components will get in a pure state, therefore it is also used as a preparative technique and therefore if the technique is analytical, the applied thing is that it can be applicable for the preparatory purpose. We can got the two components or more than two components in a pure state by the HPLC. Therefore, the simple technique we are using in the laboratory is the preparative three layer chromatography, which does not require a very sophisticated instrument. It requires only a big plate, and upon that plate, we can easily identify the components. And another thing is that if you are using some spray reagents, that time the spray reagents are also used very easily. If we give the load the sample here and a separate compartment placed here and some portion which consists of a sample is kept here. When the sample is running by the mobile phase, the mobile phase moves up to this stage, we keep the another THC plate on this portion and we only spray this part. We can got the spots here. These spots indicate that the, your components are traveling here. We can cut this portion into one class and we can cut the, this portion into another class. We can Identify, you can determine, you can get the two components separately. It is your A and it is your B. And therefore, for the structural elucidation purpose, if we carry out instead of column, we carry out the TLC state, preparative TLC, the components are definitely in a pure state. Therefore, uh, it is a new technique, very new technique, uh, useful for the uh, purification of the compounds. Today, I stop here. Thank you.